My name is Liam. I've been a Reddit user for a little while now, and a no-sleep lurker for about the same time. In fact, the legendary mold series was one of the first things that originally drove me to Reddit. I considered posting this on the Off My Chest subreddit or somewhere similar, but I'm pretty sure that it would have been flagged. I'll post it here instead. To be honest, what I really need is an outlet, not people to believe me. I'm a 19-year-old computer science major at Penn State, and I'm taking one of those classic solo college student low-budget European vacations. I spent five days in Istanbul last week visiting landmarks and partying. It was hot, humid, and sometimes smelly. But the food was good, and I was able to get a cheap room at a hostel five minutes from Sultalamet Square. It was a good stay, and I hope to be back someday. But maybe not after this incident. So, I shipped out last Friday on a flight to Geneva for the next leg of my trip. The cheap red eye I'd booked was about 5.30 in the morning, so I needed to leave my hostel at 1.30 in order to make it on time. I caught a taxi to the airport because my hostel, go figure, didn't have any sort of shuttle service. The driver didn't speak much English, though it turned out we both had a love of classic rock. We kind of bonded over this in the car, jamming out to Rush, Bowie and Queen as we sped through the darkness towards the airport. Now that I think about it, it was a pretty eerie ride to the airport. The road was as empty as a guardrail boarded tarmac, and the sky was a full, oppressive, low-hanging fog. Maybe two-thirds of the way to the airport, a grey armoured truck loomed out of the mist before us. It was covered in orange, mostly Turkish, stenciled text and large biohazard symbols. I don't remember what the text said because it never occurred to me to read it. I only noticed the truck casually at first because of the big biohazard signs on its sides. Neither myself or the taxi driver paid the truck much attention until a speeding SUV sped past us, bounced off a pothole in front of it and careened two lanes over slamming into the side of the biohazard truck. Both vehicles pitched off the side of the road, through the guardrail, and into a ditch. The taxi driver and I were surprised, but not shocked. Like in many somewhat third world cities, Istanbul has little traffic control enforcement, leading to generally lawless driving. I'd seen cars running red lights on a regular basis, and even a taxi swerve onto a curb in order to pass a small cluster of slower vehicles. On an unspoken cue, my driver slammed on the brakes and pulled over to the side of the highway to see if we could help the passengers of the stricken vehicles. They had come to rest about 50 yards away at the bottom of the shallow ditch crunched together in an L formation, the hood of the truck resting against the rear of the SUV. The scene was lit by the headlights of the two struck vehicles. The truck was on its side and looked badly damaged. There was a pretty big dent in its side, which in retrospect is kind of odd for a heavily armoured vehicle. Me and the cabbie immediately hopped out of the car and began jogging down the slope to see if we could offer assistance when a deafening bang. Probably the best way to describe it is like an uncontrolled submarine depressurization. Think something like Deep Star 6 or The Abyss. We both jumped. The bang came again, and this time we noticed that the side of the armor truck was significantly more warped than it had been previously, almost as if something was trying to get out. We both slowed to a halt for a moment, unsure of what to do. Neither of us knew what was going on, but I certainly didn't think it was something good. The next bang was followed by the sound of rending steel as a large hole was punched in the side of the van. Here's where things get difficult to explain. I apologize. I'll try my best. This old hag 
climbed nimbly out of the rear of the truck. I can't tell you much more about it other than it was deathly thin, had long, ragged hair, and was entirely black. It wasn't exactly black though. I guess you can say it was black in the same sense that a white sheet is comparable to a blinding white LED searchlight. The thing radiated darkness. It sucked your vision into its inky depths in the same way that a searchlight can blind you, even with your eyes shut. When my driver saw it, the colour leached from his face, and he whispered out to me in a quavering, fragmented English, to move slowly and silently back to the car. That next 60 seconds were the most terrifying of my life. The creature slid down the side of the biohazard truck and scampered on all fours towards its sturdy driver's side door. Then, it just ripped it off with one hand. The sound of metal shrieking was only drowned out by the screaming from inside. I've never heard a man scream like a hopeless and defenseless wild animal cornered before. I hope I never do again. A few seconds after the screaming began, it abruptly cut off. I think we're all smart enough to know what this probably meant. A few moments later, the creature emerged from the vehicle and, sniffing the air, lopped towards the SUV. It jumped on the hood and shattered the glass as if it were taut scotch tape. Screams immediately began. We were in a much better position to see what was happening this time. I wish we hadn't been. The thing leaned over the writhing passengers and unhinged its jaws and bit the driver's head off at the neck. The beast appeared to have swallowed the poor guy's head, but... I have no idea how it managed the feat, given its thin neck, emaciated frame, and the lack of any discernible swallowing motion. It's like the poor bugger's head just vanished or something. By the time the creature started on the passenger, the two of us were stealthily sliding into the taxi. The screaming cut off a few seconds later, hopefully meaning that the other occupant was put out of their misery. We stayed that way for half an hour to make sure the monster had left. About 30 seconds after the screaming ended, something had streaked into the misty, dark, scrubland surrounding the highway at a lightning pace. It was probably the creature, but neither of us were willing to risk losing our lives over a mistake like that, and making my flight was the farthest thing from my mind. The cabbie started up the car just as Horizon began to glow with the coming sun. We rode the last few miles to the airport in silence. No stones, who, or police to break it. As we pulled up to the Turkish Airlines departure gate, I hesitantly asked the driver what we had seen. After a deafening pause, the man whispered out thickly something like Horndan or Thorn Man, in what may have been Turkish. Anyway, this is my story. I haven't had a nightmare free sleep since then, and I doubt I will for a while. Any advice or help with this would be appreciated, even though I doubt you guys believe me. I'd love to identify that creature. Sorry for not asking for clarification, I was pretty frazzled and somehow I doubt the guy would have volunteered any more information. <laughs>